Hey everyone! Oh my god! <laughs> I've been doing like 11,000 um, different types of intros because I'm like, everything sounds weird. So I was like, what if I spin? Um, yet yeah, here we are. Did this make the cut? If so, that was the best thing I could do. So today I'm gonna be answering a few of your questions. You guys sent them to me on Twitter and I thought, wow. What a bunch of great questions. I should probably answer them. Michael would like to know what type of grouting is the best for the downstairs toilet? Is, <laughs> is this some type of like sexual innuendo? Because if it is, girl, I can give you the best grouting for your downstairs toilet. I don't know. I gotta go. Sophia would like to know, how was Jimmy Fallon? One of my favorite things that happened while I was on Jimmy's show was we did a face swap and this is what happened. Ah! Right, so, <laughs> it's pretty good. That's horrifying. No, it's not. Look. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to see the interview and everything else that happened while I was on the show, you can check the description below. It's going to have links to my appearance, but it was so much fun. I love doing talk shows. How cool are talk shows? Like, uh, the fact that I get to go because you guys watch my videos, that's a pretty cool thing. Funny story, I had never met Jimmy Fallon before I was on his show, but four years ago in 2012, he messaged me on Twitter and he said, met some pals of yours, you are loved. And I was never able to message him back and ask him what he meant because he didn't follow me at the time. So I've always been like, what is he talking about? Who are these friends? What was going on that day in 2012? And so after I was on his show, while like we cut to commercial, I was like, P.S. And I explained this all to him and he was like, I have no clue what was going on or who I was talking about. So, you know, if you know, if you're that friend, if you were the one talking to Jimmy Fallon four years ago, thanks for um, expressing your love for me. Jess would like to know, what do you recommend on Audible this month? I've just finished your audiobook and I need something else. Jess, a good job listening to my audiobook. I highly recommend that. But if you just finished mine, I would now recommend Grace and Style by the one and only Grace Helbig. She is iconic. This is her second book. It's another New York Times bestseller. I mean, obviously, I adore her as a human, but like, also she's very talented. So if you want to get all of your tips from her on how to live your most glamorous life, audible.com slash Tyler Oakley, and she narrates it herself, which always, I feel like, makes the best experience when listening to a book. So yeah, get this or any other book on Audible. If you use audible.com slash Tyler Oakley, you get your first month for free. That's kind of the best deal of all time. You're welcome in advance. Anita said, Says, what would you save from drowning? A cat with a purple wig or a pig with a purple hat? I don't know. Um, I think I'm gonna have to consult Grayson's style to see what's more in. I'll get back to you on that. Liz would like to know, are you aware of Niall DeMarco? I am so aware of Niall DeMarco. He is so fine. He was on America's Next Top Model. He won and currently he's on Dancing with the Stars. He's so hot. I would spend the rest of my life with him. Jamel would like to know, what is the one thing you would grab if your house was on fire? Niall DeMarco. Sorry, I'm not sorry. Babs would like to know, who is your next collab? I just crossed somebody off my bucket list of people that I wanted to collab with. One of the original YouTubers of all time, Phil DeFranco, I feel like I just called you really old, Phil. Sorry about that. We got together and we filmed a video for his series called This Week on Fire. You can click right here if you want to watch it or it's going to be in the description below. And it's not your typical collab. It's got like segments. It's real fancy like. So if you want to check it out, click right here and go give it some love and be sure if you go watch it to comment in the comments of that video that I sent you and and that you love Phil, and that's all. And yeah, give it some love. V-Ron says, quick, a zombie apocalypse has started. The thing to your right is your weapon. I don't know how useful this is gonna be uh, during the zombie, ah, <laughs> Just imagine me like floating down the river while the entire shoreline is lined with zombies. I'm just on this little flamingo being like, hey y'all. There is no way I'm surviving the zombie apocalypse. Liza would like to know, do you know any Russian words? Oh, I know tons of Russian words. Speedy, quickly, hasty, fast, zippity. <laughs> I don't know. That's all I know. Get it? Russian? Like quick? Like you're Russian? No? Okay. Macy says, if you had to be any historical figure, who would you be and why? Now my answer is Gustav Le Bon, and not for any reason about who he was as a human, because I read that he's like actually a terrible human, but there's one thing that I really liked about him. I read that in the 1800s, he would always have these like dinner parties with all of his friends and all these people, and like he would host them, and then anytime somebody had like a bad opinion that he didn't agree with, he would like ding this huge bell during dinner until they shut up with their dumb opinion. And I'm like, how amazing and iconic would that be? Oh, Donald Trump is the best possible candidate for the presidency. Bitch! Ding, 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 ding! Oh, white privilege does not exist. Bitch! Ding, 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 ding!
ding dong. Old Carly Rae Jepsen didn't have the best pop album of 2015. Bitch! Ding 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 ding! Obviously useful. Okay, so that is all I have for you guys today. I feel like this was a long Q&A, but uh, if you want to follow me and love me forever, all the links are below. And like I said, there are tons of things that I need you to watch in the description below. Also, the video with um, Phil DeFranco is going to have an annotation up there. Um, but yeah, check out all the things that I talked about today. But that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you have a fabulous life. I love you guys, and I will see you guys soon. Mwah! Can I help you? This is, is this where you're gonna hang out the rest of the video? You gotta go.